welcome back to the fourth Disneyland vlog. And it's Oogie Boogie Bash Day. Yay! We are so excited to be doing Oogie Boogie. We've not done a Halloween party here before, so it's our first time. I have done Mickey's Not So Scary in Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World, but this is our first Halloween party it together. Is, yeah. So we have done the Christmas party last year, which was very fun. But we didn't really dress up lots for that, did we? No, we didn't. Whereas we've no. got a proper costume for this. We have a costume, so some of you may have already seen it on Instagram, but for those that haven't, keep watching to see what we dress up as. But this morning we have had a bit of a leisurely start, had a bit of extra sleep, washed and did my hair. It's now 11 a.m. We put our outfits in a locker right outside the parks. It's really easy. $7 for a small one, $10 for a big one, and you can have it all day. We did this for the Christmas parties, one. Well, it worked really well. Saves us having to go back or carrying our outfits around for the full day. So. Exactly. So the things on our to-do list, our bucket list this morning, is we want to go and look around downtown Disney, yeah. just see if there's any like lovely pieces of merch or shopping. And as we have the locker for the day, we figured that would be ideal because everything we buy, we can leave it in the locker. And we're also going to go into the main Disneyland park this morning. Jungle this Cruise. Again. <laughs> hey, it's Halloween. Yes, Jungle Cruise and some lunch. Yep. And then we'll see where we're at. We're going to do... DCA this afternoon, this evening. You can go in at three o'clock, but obviously we have normal park tickets anyway. Party starts at six until 11. It's our first time doing it, so we're just gonna do what we can, figure it all out as we go, and we're gonna bring you along for the journey. So, if you're new, hi, I'm Brogan. I'm Benji. And we are always making home and travel and lifestyle and Disney vlogs, so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out. We're actually going to Hong Kong Disneyland next year, which is gonna be amazing, so you won't wanna miss those. And we have vlogs from Disneyland Paris and Walt Disney World, if you wanna see those too. But without further ado, let's go do our next Disneyland day. Let's go. Here's my outfit of the day. My skirt from ASOS. My t-shirt was Uniqlo. Old Kath Kidston bag and just some trainers. So I've got like a bit of a swishy dress today. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this is so lovely. Look at that. Disney 100 Years of Wonder. And we're going to go straight into World of Disney. Good morning. World of Disney. We're gonna see if we can hunt out anything we haven't seen already. I've been stuff already. There's so much more stuff. Already. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? It's all beautifully displayed. Still got my eye on that spirit jersey, but not 100% sure yet. This is a cute lounge fly. I feel like you can't go wrong with something like this. Black and white, simple, goes with like every outfit. Yeah, I really like that. I'm not trying to buy more lounge fly bags though, because I've got enough. I also am always on the hunt for like cute dresses. These are amazing in Florida. And this is actually like a really nice material, but I don't know what it would look like on. I don't know if they have changing rooms, but I do quite like that. I just looked at it a bit more and it actually has shorts built into it, which is amazing. I just don't think that this would flatter me in the right places, but I do really love it. I know a little sausage that would look really cute in this. Our Bonnie girl, yeah, she cute. She doesn't mind t-shirts, does she? She doesn't mind a t-shirt, she doesn't mind a jumper either, but we don't really do it to her, bless she her. She actively likes them in the winter, doesn't she? We, do, we have a Christmas and a Halloween one, and that's that's what we and do. she's got her jackets as well for the rain. She oh yes, rain. that's true. This t-shirt's nice. Disneyland, castles, that's cute, isn't it? Is it men's though? I can't tell like what's men's, what's women's, what's unisex because sometimes the fit and the cut on them is like odd. I've been on a hunt for a t-shirt I can wear with my cycling shorts and they have quite a few nice options. I like this one, everything's better at Disneyland. And this one down here I've seen a lot in the parks, people wearing this, really nice design. But I don't love the back, meant to be like a tour style tee, you know, when all the different rides open and their dates, but I only like the front. These are the designs on the squares, which is, handy to see. They have loads more along here as well. Can you see? Lava you. That's cute. I absolutely love this magic band. This might be my favourite one I think I've ever found with all the princesses on it. The mini one's nice as well. We saw that in Walt Disney World. I think we struggled with picking them. They didn't have as good a selection at the time. They've got a lovely Disney 100 one which is really nice too. Tomorrow, isn't it? it is, yeah, the grey. But this is this is the one I like the best. That snacks water bottle is so cute. They also have a mug selection, but I haven't found a mug I really love yet. Just discovered these little bobble dancing heads characters. We've never seen these before. Coda from Brother Bear. There's some really unique characters actually. <laughs> They're really cool. These are some of their limited edition ones. Look at that Trader Sam's and Tiki in Charge Tiki Bar. That's cool. I did not know that they were doing Disney 100 Havianas. I love them, but I have already bought Crocs this trip. So we're just taking a moment to appreciate them. They're $34. I know this is a little bit loud, but I love it. <laughs> I don't think you'd wear it out, but on like cozy nights or whatever. Cozy nights. Cinema. 
cinema, yeah, or like a Disney park day in the evening that would look amazing. Look at the detail in here, this pumpkin's so cute. Projections. Yeah. It says happy, welcome to Halloween. I was just looking at this one and what on earth it is, it's obviously churros. And then I opened up the little lid and it's a candle. Oh my word, I was going to say, so cute. Bit, that must mean the honey one is as well. Yeah, the honey pot. Oh, I love that, but there's no way you could drink tea, like tea out of that, but... No, it's a candle. Again, it's like two kilos. It's too heavy for us. Back. I like the little carriage too down there. That's yeah. really cute. And that tea towel is nice. I like that. I actually love that on display as well, even once it's finished being a candle. It is cute, yeah. yeah. I picked up a couple of things and they gave me this really cute little bag. It's got um, the new Wish film on it. I think these are the bags they give you for Oogie Boogie for your candy. But anyway, Yanny. she complimented my outfit. She said, you look so pretty. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I do feel very pretty today. But she also told me that um, there's a pin training board somewhere. It is so lovely around here. Look at this. We're gonna go into Starbucks because I'm on the hunt for one of those you've been here mugs, you know the ones. Hopefully they have one. He said that that mug is only available in the park. So we'll try and find that today instead. But they've got loads of shops around here. It's probably, the same, well, it's very similar size to the Disneyland Paris one. So this is what it looks like. That salt and straw is meant to be amazing for ice cream. And then they've got some construction walls up over here. But we're trying to find Disney Home, which I think is around the corner. The last time we came in here, we bought so many great things. We got our salt and pepper shakers from here and some like tea towels and stuff. We're just looking at the Christmas decorations and we really like this one. And they actually do personalization in Magic Kingdom so you can have like the year. Um, painted on it. I also like this one. So it's got both sides of the front entrance They've got some nice ones, but they're all very big like Benji and I like subtle small ones because we'd rather have lots Whereas when we have big ones they take up a lot of space, but they are so beautiful I love this one Mickey and Minnie in the hot air balloon. It's really cute. They don't have loads of stuff in here I don't know why I think I remembered that there were more exclusive things we hadn't seen before but they have some cute bits I'm gonna get a little thing I'll show you in my haul. We were drawn into the smell of this ice cream shop. What's it called? Salt and something. We're getting the cookie dough one to share, aren't we? Because we are going to have some lunch in a minute, but... The waffle cone smell incredible. They do. Oh, wow. This ice cream is honestly incredible. Isn't it good? It's really nice. I can't quite describe it. It's like creamier than Ben and Jerry's. Like the doughy pieces are nice and thick. Oh, should we eat and walk with it? Happy days. It's now half past 12 and we're heading into the Disneyland park. First stops are gonna be Starbies. food. Starbies on the way down Main Street. We need to go to the Christmas shop today. We want to go to Jungle Cruise. Look what we found. <laughs> Which one should we get? Top middle. Top middle. Oh, I love it. It's actually a really nice colour scheme as well. It's perfect. I yeah, absolutely really nice. love my Walt Disney World one. It's, it's like this, what we were style. saying about the yellow one that we've seen in the stores. Yeah. It's a lovely style, but it's the wrong colour, whereas this is really nice. I just love it. As well as picking up my Starbucks mug, I obviously got my Starbucks. If you know, you know, if you've been watching the vlogs every day, I've been having one of these in the hotel, but today I have it in the parks and I got a big one. This is the Iced Pumpkin Chai Latte with cream cold foam on the top or something like that and then I add a shot of espresso in it too and it's just incredible I've had it every day there's a bucket of coffee uh, yeah but just sit there's a bucket of coffee because it's literally side of my face side of my face size of my face anyway we've made our orders some barbecue skewers we're gonna have those you're gonna have to like slow this down to like 0.5 so everyone can like hear you at a normal like speaking speed all right and we have to up the volume of yours come on let's go <laughs> <laughs> the caffeine's hitting in. <laughs> Let's go. Oh wow! <laughs> Indy's just chilling up there, waving. How cool is that? <laughs> Come on, let's go and have a... Oh, we've taken a photo here before, haven't we? Yeah, of our feet. <laughs> animatronics are getting wild. Oh, behave. Wow. Tropical hideaway. This is our first stop. We're making a lunch picnic, aren't we? Okay, so in here, we're getting some bao buns. And we've ordered chicken skewers at another place. Yeah. So while we wait for our skewers from the other place, Bengal Barbecue, I think the other one is, we're at Tropical Hideaway, and we've ordered one of each of the bao buns. One so... chicken, one pork bao. Yeah. There's two and... chicken and lime. Chicken and lime, yeah. And then the lumpia, pork lumpia as well. And we've got some sauce, so we're gonna eat these first and then we're gonna go and get our skewers. skewers. Mm. Oh wow, it's really flavorful. I'll show the insides. So mine's the chicken, Benji's the pork. 
They look good. We have a 15 minute wait for our skewers. So as we're waiting and John Cruise is next to us and has a 20 minute wait, we figured that we might as well jump on it. So we're gonna go on this and then carry on our Disney picnic. This is something I've done in Florida a few times too because they have the cheeseburger spring rolls and they have amazing bao buns and um, uh, what are these called spring rolls. In the same um, area of like Adventureland, it's really great to just sort of get a selection. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna coin it Disney picnic, Disney snack picnic. I don't know. We need a name for that. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, we'll get on Jungle Cruise. I don't think I can take a drink on Jungle Cruise, can I? Can it, it finish up by the end of the, the, the by the end of the Maybe a twenty minute queue. Yeah. I love that this was an opening day attraction that's still here and thriving today. And we have to do it. It's a rite of passage. Oh, three your turns now. I can just imagine him with his stick marking out the route, can't you? The, the, the show we watched on yeah. Disney Plus, yeah. There's a tree that's upside down or something, isn't it, to make it look more exotic. Is it? Yeah, I'll point it out. Welcome to the point of the world, it's the jungle cruise where we are world famous to be seen throughout the world. The main appeal to this ride is the jokes. It's the jokes. Everybody, let's get a big round of applause for the back side of water. Woo! Like at the end of all good Disney rides, there's a gift shop. <laughs> We've just come off Jungle Cruise and I've sent my a mobile order to be picked up so I'm just waiting and now I don't have to wait in a huge cube. Oh wow you can see them cooking the meat over there that's so cool. Here is our skewers so I got the veggie one just because I... <laughs> the lesser spotted vegetables. I haven't had any veg um, and I just craved some so I thought that'd be nice. Disney. You yeah, I know, well, no, I do. I need some veg. And then we have the beef as well. So I thought that'd be a nice little combo. I really enjoyed that. I liked the sticky, like, syrupy sauce and the veg with it was really good. So for me, it was a win, but Benji didn't love it. Quite chewy and not like enough flavour for me. Not a banger. I loved the courgette and the peppers. The I'm sauce was nice. I like the fact we've tried it, but I wouldn't rush back it. Very fair. Especially with, yeah. the, with, the, with the bell buns and the lumpia literally over the road. You preferred that. We've done some more castle photos. And now our final little stops is the Christmas shop and a snack. And then we'll be starting to get ready to go into DCA for the evening, which is very exciting. This weather is absolutely glorious. I think California weather for Disney parks is superior. It's my favorite. It's our, it's our kind of warm, isn't it? It is. Actually, we loved Disneyland Paris in July too. Yeah. That was good. We always say that we can never find any Brother Bear merch. No. Or my favourite film, or one of my favourite films, Robin Hood. No. They have both. It's yeah. just too big. Like, that could be perfect if they didn't have the background and the... Yeah, just the, the characters on their own. I like this one. Look how cute this is. That's a better size. That sort of size, yes. Such a... Can you see, is she a Spaniel? Is Lady a Spaniel? Yeah, she's a... Uh, King Charles. King Charles Spaniel, that's it. So kind of. That's really cute. Oh look, we're two for two for Robin Hood. Oh. It must be an anniversary. Oh, I love it's it. It's 50th anniversary. See, I still really love this one. I saw this in Walt Disney World last year, but Benji vetoed it, which I think is so sad. Because look, it's so cute. I think that's Christmassy as well. You know, you've got Disney and Christmassy, but... We move on. Oh, Benj, look at Wally. That's so cute, I like that. That's really nice. This shop is so beautiful. This is the Christmas shop. And we found one decoration that we really like, but we really want to get it personalized, but they're actually fully booked at the moment. So if you did want to get an ornament personalized, come early on in your trip. Don't leave it to the day before you leave, like us. Yeah. It, it takes them almost like a full day. To so get you, through all the orders. In the morning, you don't do it by the evening. But yeah. Afternoon they can't. I always say for Disney trips, don't skip the art shops because not only are they beautiful to look at, there's so many gorgeous pieces. And some of them are really affordable, like $44.99. You get a really lovely piece of art. Some of them are obviously much more expensive, like something like that is $400. Um, but you can also get these little cards that are $6.99 and they always have different ones and I put these on my pin board in my office and I change them up and I really like them. Oh, it's hard, but oh. how cute is this? Oh, a book about Walt. Yeah, it's got like those of... That is so lovely. I love that. Look at the patchwork detailing on that one, that's so good. Yes, I love so that. Nice. 
Big it's a thunder. bit too like bold for us. Pop party, yeah. We want more sort of hand drawn. Are you ready? <laughs> Ta da! You can't see, there you go. <laughs> turn around, turn around. Yay! It looks so good. <laughs> We've got a soft basketball. Obviously, we're trying Gabriella from High School Musical. If yeah. you hadn't already gathered that, isn't it cute? I love it. Hang it's on, so let's good, try it? Let's try we really wanted to do like a couples thing, but without being like cartoons or something like that. So I think it's great. Look at his basketball outfit. We got the top from Amazon and the basketball, and he's wearing his normal trainers. Yeah, you look so good. Oh, I've got a necklace. Oh, where is it? I've got a Tifa Troy necklace, we've got to go and get it. Okay. The red Gabriella dress. I love your coffee. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you. I love yours. yours. Is good too. I've got the red Gabriella dress, science jacket. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to fully really tell with me because yeah. so I bought the ears on Etsy. The ears, uh, ears make it, I think. You can tell it's high yeah. school. Yeah. And then show you your bag? Oh yeah, I got one cat bag too. I bought this from eBay. Um, but yeah, I need to go and get my necklace. He's putting on my teeth with my necklace. Find out and let and meet you. Mrs. Oh, no. Mrs. Mrs. Troy Walton. Mrs. T. Walton. We just found a little high school musical poster. Granted, it's for the series, but same hello. Thing. Yeah, it's the same era. <laughs> same era, same. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, this is such a vibe. There's so many outfits. It's so fun. Oh my god, I can't believe we're doing this. It doesn't actually start till six, so we're just gonna get in and see how we go. Oh, wow. This is so exciting. <laughs> I'm so happy you dressed up. We found a good solution for you, to be fair. So we've been walking through the park for like 10 minutes. We've picked up our Oogie Boogie bags and our wristbands. We actually bypassed the whole big queue outside because we had normal tickets. We went to a little pickup spot near Carsland and that was super quick, wasn't it? We walked straight yeah. in. That was perfect for us. Anyway, we're walking through and everybody is commenting or Probably, smiling. Uh, 20 or 30 people <laughs> in, the, like, in the first five, 10 minutes. It's pretty amazing because yeah. like we obviously put a lot of effort into thinking about this and planning it and we don't really do Halloween massively at home. So for us, this is quite a novelty. <laughs> anyway, it's been very fun and we're both smiling like Thank Jessica. You. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, we're gonna go on the Incredicoaster now, which is gonna ruin my hair, but we've got a cute picture. So yeah. which way we wanna go that way, don't we? Right, same way. So we left the GoPro in the main rucksack. We're not gonna film this version today on Incredicoaster, but we will do it again tomorrow. So you'll see our reactions on the next vlog. <laughs> but we're just gonna ride this without a camera because I do not trust myself with this camera. Uh, I would be really upset if anything happened to it. So, anyway, let's go on in. We got a genie, pl uh, genie pass, yeah, genie pass, lightning lane. Bench, how good was Incredi Coaster? So good. We loved it. I want to do it again. We will do it again. Um, and now we're doing web slingers, which again I need two hands for. A bit like Toy Story. Yeah. I'm not very good at this. You're really good at it. They have this in Disneyland Paris as well. It's like AI as well because you're you're using your hands to like flick your spider web. We've also mobile ordered our dinner. We've learned our lesson, yeah, and you guys are gonna do the same. We looked on the menu for Pim uh, Kitchen, which is here in Avengers Campus, and they have some special food that's only available during the party. Web Slinger vehicle, using onboard tech, you will be able to sling webs just like my bloody Spider-Man. Hey there, your presentation is getting away from you. Yeah. Right, Benji got 273,000. And I got 182,000, so not bad, not bad. I realise now that you get more points for the different, what are they called, spider bot things. So the gold ones give you 6,000. So when you start knowing which ones give you more, that's how you rack the points up. Seated on board the Slinger vehicle. Also, you can explode all the barrels and then they take out more. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't listen to the chat. I just threw my hands out everywhere. It's so good. This version of Avengers Campus definitely feels bigger. It's obviously they've got a uh, difference in terms of Tara Terra and Paris has what used to be Rock and Roller Coaster. But in terms of actually space and land, oh, you've got the little cart there too. They might have some neat snacks. So we've just taken a little quiet corner um, right by Monsters Inc. Uh, as we have a fast pass, a fast pass genie pass um, in five minutes. And we've been going through the Ooga Big Bash plan and just familiarizing ourselves with the map of the park and where everything is because this is new to us. We're going to try and catch Minnie, Daisy and Clarabelle dressed as the Sanderson sisters. That's the only meet and greet that I really would like to meet, like to see and take a picture. 
it's not the end of the world if it doesn't happen like it's it's not my highest priority like to be honest just being here and having fun is is what we're here to achieve however i think that could be good if we're, if we're early and first they're your main ones aren't they like that's if, the only if, if we only see one, one yeah. then they're the ones then we'll go and get our dinner which we pre-booked then we want to do the parade and then the rest is literally just the trick-or-treating there's a few exclusive dessert snacks as well that we could buy i don't know where you get them but there's like none, some i really, must say none of them look fair none of them look appealing okay well we can check anyway and then there's also a villain's grove which we walk through it's at redwood creek challenge trail thing where we met it's opposite soaring we met um yes, chip and dale in yeah, there yeah. mickey has a trick and treat party it's on five times tonight so if we find ourselves at a loose end that's sort of the lowest priority for us but yeah we're just going to see how we get on we're obviously going to see loads of characters anyway on the trail it's a little bit different um than not so scary so let's go and do this ride and then uh and then we'll start the party. Metropolis Chamber of Commerce would like to welcome you. Thank you. While you're in town, be sure to... We interrupt oh, this program oh. for a special report. A child is on the loose in Monstropolis. Oh my gosh, amazing. A human child! Oh, oh you're glowing. Okay, so are you. You're too far, too. So <laughs> look at the TV on in the light up there, oh, yeah. you see. <laughs> oh, look at the light, the eye. Oh, boo, we gotta get you home. Oh. It reminds me of the Men in Black ride. Universal. Really? Because all the aliens are Oh, I see. That's me on a bad day. <laughs> oh. I've got both doors set up on the scare floor. Oh, this is so clever. Oh. <laughs> so we've been in the queue for 40 minutes and they're starting now so we're hoping it's almost six o'clock that it won't take too long because we've got dinner at half six so we hope we hope that like the 200 people in front of us just like scoot on through one minute at a time. <laughs> and just in case you're wondering what the queue is like, this is where we're at. So it's, you know, it's fairly big. Um, we're going to zigzag all the way to the front. So this is what we've got to deal with. We'll let you know how long it takes. They've just put some smoke filled bubbles in the air. They're so cool. I don't think you can fully appreciate it. You got one? <laughs> we are 40 minutes into the queuing section so we're actually an hour and 20 into our actual queuing if you queue for this get here at five o'clock start lingering and also bring a drink snack drink be prepared bring a couple of drinks i think we thought it'd be like 30 to 40 minutes and we're at the 40 minute mark we're not that far i, I think it's more like an hour at this point but i feel like it'll be worth it the photo is gonna be good well what time do we start queuing Court past 20 past five yeah so we were probably like 10 15 minutes too late on that but we had a ride so we did go on a ride yeah that's okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh my god, guys, we're nearly there. <laughs> it's so fun, look at the cauldron with the bubbles, it's so good. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, look how cool these bubbles are. It is 10 past seven, so we've been an hour and 10 minutes since the line opened. Hour, okay. But almost, well. An hour and 50 almost, minutes. Almost two hours from us waiting. But I'm thinking it'll be really good because they look amazing. <laughs> I think someone was standing in front of the camera. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we tried to film some of it, but we got a really fun photo. So yeah, now we're gonna go and get some dinner. So let's go and check in to Pim's kitchen. Oh my goodness, this is so cool! Look at the huge pretzels over there, and then little tiny ones, and then the way that this is doing the pretzels. Look, Benj, let the little <laughs> little ones go through the machine, oh, and they so come out as big. Much. Ready? Dun dun dun. We. Oh, this was worth the wait. <laughs> this is so yummy. We've got a drink as well, some sort of cherry non-alcoholic thing. 
Oh wow, fun. You squeeze it and put it in. Uh, right, do you want to take the plate off? This is certainly a slice of pizza, isn't it? Yeah, proper slice. Verdict on the pizza, it's really nice, it's got loads of flavour. It's a little bit spicy, it's got a little kick to it. It's spicy for me, Benji's going no, but it is for me. In a good way, like it's got flavour. The only thing is, it, it, I just would have liked it a little bit hotter, you know, like warmer, not actual spice, just temperature wise. Um, we've got our Halloween necklaces to put on, should we put them on? The portion sizes here are so big, like we've been sharing a lot of stuff. We've actually not been eating loads like we've been skipping breakfast today we didn't have breakfast we had the first thing we ate was ice cream oh, <laughs> it was <laughs> when it's really hot and we're running around we don't always um, eat big meals but this is the kind of thing is perfect so mm -hmm. we've got our lights around our neck now <laughs> we've just passed Agatha and the queue was huge so we just want to go and fill up so, our bags there's one on the in the gap between Cars okay. and San Francisco. This is amazing, all lit up. Oh, wow! All oh, the cars are dressed up. That's so good. Look at the lights. Oh, Ben, look up there. Look at all the decorations. Oh, it's so cool. That is so fun. Ah, oh, this is really cool. It feels like Halloween. We're a month early. <laughs> Although by the time you guys see this video, it'll be nearly there, nearly Halloween. Never got this okay. before. I've never had a Halloween bag. I don't think I've ever gone trick or treating before. What? You tell me that now? You've never gone trick or treating? I've just bought, oh, my, own, I just bought my own sweets. <laughs> oh babe, look, this is exciting. <laughs> Have fun. Happy Halloween. Happy Thank you. Do they do April Fool's Day on the same day as Halloween here? No, you just tried to give me carrots. Do I look like I want carrot on sweets? <laughs> she was like, carrot bag, and then she went, no what? thanks! <laughs> I physically pushed you away. <laughs> no, no carrots. How oh, dare you? Um, on first impressions, we've got quite a few things. It's, it's pretty, easy to fill the bag. I filled our bag up already. Yes. There, there, there was one couple walking around with buckets, like physical buckets. Yeah, crazy. Um, right, we're trying to go and get some merch now. Oh, oh my, look how cool that is. Elvis Mater. Oh, that's so cool. So obviously, Guardians turns into Monsters After Dark. Yeah, Lightning McQueen's dressed up. Um, and some of the rides here in Carsland also change. I'm obsessed with you, Troy. <laughs> He's got his necklace on. He's got his first bag of candy trick-or-treating. They've got the map navigating us around. What a day. What a day. Okay, so this one you see a character and you get a treat bag thing. Do you talk to Rosita as well? Oh, good. So what I'm not as mad as most fetch. people think I am. Talking to birds all by myself. Managed to find an Oogie Boogie Bash pin, which is exactly what I wanted. It says 2023 on it, which is so cool. I love it. They have Tick one. the list. They have another one for magic key holders as well. Yeah, but, but we can't get that that. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. Look at the front of Carthay Circle, that looks so good. Such a cool projection, I love it. So we're figuring this out, it says which character it is at the start of the trail. So this one is Judge Doom, but we're just gonna keep going and see what, how many more we can find. Wow, how they do this is so cool. I don't think the, the ride is actually running, but look how good the smoke and steam looks, it's amazing. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Mother Gothel from Tangled. You always believe the worst in me. What did I ever do wrong? <laughs> I'm just teasing. So we were just walking past and noticed that Bruno was meeting people from Encanto. And as we met Mirabelle, I was like, oh, it could be quite fun to meet Bruno. The parade is on right now, so I feel like we're timing this just right, you know? Getting all these things out while people are watching the parade. It's the second parade at 10 p.m., so we want to get everything done that we want to get done, and then we know we can guarantee to see the parade. We have no way of being able to vlog him with us, but as you can see, he's here. These people are dressed as the elemental characters, aren't they, Benj? Yeah. They look so good. Yeah, they're chatting to Bruno. No, he's telling them that he's uh, still in the walls. <laughs> oh, this says specifically designed magic key holders. This must be the t-shirt for them. But I just thought I'd show you this t-shirt. Ben, that would look fun with uh, bike shorts. It's just not really my style, but it's fun. I like the fact it says Oogie Boogie Bash on the arm. What have you found? Oh, that's so cute. We need the poo top. The, why are the arms oh, elastic on them? What's that all about? And in case you're wondering why we're in a normal shot, we just needed a break from the crowds and the what we're doing next. And just a second, just taking a quick pause. 
as we uh, continue on. We've already got three Halloween pins now, but I just thought I'd show you this if you, set. If you had like a special Halloween lanyard for tonight, then maybe, but. Or a Halloween board, but we just, we, we have more Christmassy pins, I think, rather yeah. than Halloween, but they're really nice and they are $34.99 for a set. I like them a lot. This Ursula spirit jersey is incredible. Not my thing, but I can see that looking so good. I'm still obsessed that the bear is holding a pumpkin trick-or-treat box. How cool is that? All right, we found a load more characters around here. From Snow White, I'm assuming so. Where is she? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is where Mickey's trick-or-treat show is. But we are going to try and find Oogie Boogie. He's apparently inside somewhere around here. I will say I've done a few of these now. I've done, obviously, Not So Scary and Very Merry Christmas. And it, it's very easy to get overwhelmed by the amount of stuff there is and this desire and need to try and keep up and do it all. But, yeah, we're just doing our best, you aren't we? You kind of need to make a plan. Even if you don't stick to the plan, there's like a rough idea of where you're mildly going next. Yeah. So we're gonna go inside here now, see how this goes. Oh wow, it's cool in here what they've transformed it into. The, the projections on the castle. <laughs> if you saw the last vlog, he's not wrong. Oh wow, look. There's Oogie Boogie himself. Disgusting. Oh, hello boys and girls. It's good to see you. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween! Well, that was fun seeing Oogie Boogie, I like that. It was so good. It was good. It was, you had to go and see Oogie Boogie for Oogie Boogie's bash. Like It would have been rude not to have said and thank was, you for having us. That was quick, it took us what, 15 minutes tops? Yeah, if that. So now we're making our way over to the parade spot that we want. It comes out at the other side of Pixar Pier. So what we're going to do is walk around the pier and make our way towards the spot we want. <laughs> For the parade. Just walk past the merch stand and look, they have an exclusive Disney Munchling special one for Oogie Boogie Bash the party. How cool is that? I don't need or want it, but I think it's really neat. <laughs> On our way to Pixar Pier, and these seats out here are for people that also book onto a dessert party. So you can basically have a seat and get a dessert or unlimited desserts. I mean, it's a pretty good idea if you want to spend even more money on top of the buy tickets, but um, it's there if you want it. It's great if you like you can't stand for long or if you've not got not got very good mobility. If you want the guaranteed seats, but we don't mind sitting on the floor. <laughs> but not so easily. It's the baddie from Big Hero 6. What's his name, Benj? I don't know. Baddie. baddie. <laughs> Nothing else will clinch that anger. Oh Benj, that was such a great one. We've got apple slices. <laughs> We're not going to go down there and film it, but Mickey from Kingdom Hearts, the game, is down there. There's quite a few people waiting around there, so we're going to skip it, but I just thought I'd show you. If I was a phone battery, I'd be about 20%. Uh, my feet hurt. I'm doing all right. My legs and my feet are killing me. I'm highly stimulated, highly caffeinated, and ready to, ready to rumble. <laughs> you should put that on a mug. <laughs> That's fair. You're excited by the colours and the things and the people and the candy. Flashy yeah, lights. Flashy lights make me go. Um, sorry. Is that a walk-on? Should we do it in the dark? I think we should, but it's like a literal walk-on. If I had it my way, I would just skip this as we've already done it once today. But you know, he does a lot for me, and he wants to do it. So. What's that? <laughs> if you want to do it, that's if fine. Go the list of how fab I am, and let at least involve me. In it. Yeah, no, you are fab. Ben was right. That was good in the dark. And also, when we got to the front of the queue, the guys in front of us were like, oh my god, I love your costume. When we were at the top, I heard someone shout, we're flying. So I went, we're soaring. And then like the, the people in the carriages in front and behind us, we all started singing, uh, we're breaking free. And then he got off and he gave Ben a fist pump and Ben was like, we're all in this together. <laughs> and he was like, you gotta keep your head in the game. And I was like, nah. <laughs> what a cool memory that's gonna be. <laughs> it was cute. Anyway, we just passed Mr. Incredible around the corner with like no weight. I don't like the ones with the plastic faces. Creep me out a little bit. Creep him out. Well, that, Doesn't like that. How old is it, Ed? Oh, uh, Carl. Carl, that's it. Carl from uh, up. Yeah, but it's quite a long queue, so. Not, not too fussed on that. But oh, not so. Oh, oh okay. not so the fair. I want to meet Lotso. I've met Lotso. Oh, this is cool. We're passing Sid from Toy Story. Oh, that is fun. 
Can you hear him? I'll show you. There he is. <laughs> the music's pretty loud, but we've found a little spot where we're going to watch the parade. We're just taking a break. And Benji turned his nose up at the apple slices, but they're really good. So. I've eaten mine already. This is Benji's first time of seeing the Headless Horseman. It's so good. <laughs> This is honestly so epic. Isn't it cool? Oh, cute! This is literally where it starts, so this is perfect. It's Halloween! This is the song I'm obsessed with. Yeah. That might be a crime, but the music, the costumes was really good, really, really good. Loved it. I think we've hit almost all of the treat trails. Let's see if we get anything different More in these crisps. next ones. Oh, crispies. It's a walk on for Ariel's Under the Sea Grotto or something. I'm not sure, but I love this one. It's very nostalgic and cute to me. Love Ariel. So. Also, if you remember from the other night when we went to Target, we met that couple in there. They just walked past us in the parade and then they came and sat down to us and we got another chat with them. Yeah, we, uh, we said, do you want to join us for the parade? They were like, yeah, so it's been really yeah, nice. My story is that we're as interested as aerials. You know aerials, the money. They're jumping, dancing, strolling. Aww. I feel like this animatronic might need a little bit of work. <laughs> And all that blowfish blow. 
<laughs> You're fully glowing. <laughs> and the fish is happy as I feel the waves they roll. One day when the boss gets hungry, guess who's gonna be on their plate? Oh oh, under the sea. Repent and see the light can make a switch. Yes. Poor unfortunate soul. Bench, we got fireworks again. <laughs> wow. It's you and me! <laughs> Are you waving at them? I'm waving at us! <laughs> so this is where Villains Grove is and it's a walk through but the queue is just huge like it just goes all the way back I'm not sure if the payoff is worth Everyone it Everyone we've spoken to tonight that's done it has said that it's a bit naff Well it's just well, nothing they, in there they, It could be so much better There's, it, It's just a walk through Some of you will tell me that we should have done it but I just watched a couple of clips on YouTube and I can't tell I can't tell you that I really care that much so Just a quick update still going past the queue, still can't see the end of it. Why? We have wrapped at Disney's California Adventure, Oogie Boogie Bash 2023, and we are heading back to the room. We'll talk to you a bit more about it when we get there, but we're gonna go and grab our things from our locker. This was such a great idea from us. Oh, so happy. Oh, I didn't zip it up. <laughs> All the wild cutters are wild, wild cutted out. We, yeah, we have got nothing left in it. Our us. head is no longer in the game. No. <laughs> We're no longer all in it together. It was so much fun. It was so good. What well, a great party. I honestly don't think I've ever like felt like a main character as much as I did today. We got a lot of attention. A lot, a lot of attention. It, it was so, so fun. <laughs> I'm so glad we put the effort in. There it wasn't was... even that much to think about, really, because once we got the bases of the outfits, yeah. it was um, it was fairly simple. There were some forward. really good costumes as well that we saw out there. Really there was good. a Mary Poppins and uh, Bert. And Bert. That yeah, was, they were brilliant. Really good. The funniest one was a woman dressed as the genie with a plus on Genie her top, Plus. Genie Plus. I liked the guy that had the Iron Man thing on his chest, yeah. you know, the light that lights up. Um, I liked the uh, dancers the, from the TV show. Yeah, you remember Disney Games? That was like Team Blue Disney Games. Yeah. Um, if you're know. thinking of coming um, and you don't want to be what everyone else is, a lot of Toy Story, a lot, a lot of Toy Story. Yeah, a lot of Toy Story, but it is um, Pixar Pier and stuff, and it's quite easy for the whole family. I'm just saying, for if, if people if you want, want to do something, yeah. Need. The trick or treating was fun. The parade was amazing. Yeah, so um, the good. kind of sweets we got, I'll show you them in the hall, so you make sure you subscribe and see that, and we'll show some of the things that we got. Mm. Um, the pin, pin yeah. we sort of showed that. There's some really cool merch. Not really to our taste, but the, no. it was cool, like good, really good quality. I just had a really good time. Definitely would have liked to have seen like a show. I know there was one in that, um, the Mickey and Trick or Treat mm. one, but we didn't quite make that. I would have liked to have seen like a, uh, something on a stage outside, you know? That's the kind of thing I yeah. expect. But the parade was well worth it. I had a really good time. So yeah. yeah, if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss our final Disney vlog. We are going home tomorrow, so this time tomorrow we'll be on a plane. We don't, if this is the first video you've watched, we don't like dress like this all the time. No, we do not. Um, we do sometimes wear <laughs> other clothes. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. Love you, bye. Bye. <laughs>